Guys, if I was starting this journey all over again, there is two things I would have done 100,000 times sooner. First one being getting around people who have achieved what you want to achieve. It sounds so simple, guys, but for so long, I weren't around the guys who had the things I want. I was around fucking losers in my hometown who had no idea how to get the life I have these days, how to build the body I have these days, how to get the women I have these days. And it sounds really simple, guys, but the only thing that changed for me, guys, was was social media. I was never going to go meet these people in person. I didn't have access to them, but I had social media. And for so long, I just put it off. I just carried on going through literal, just the normal routine, going to work, stuck in my nine to five, stuck in a shit physique around the same people going out every single weekend. I'm wondering why nothing was happening. I just had this ego that like, I would do it myself. That has never happened, guys. You know, when you hear these terms, self-made millionaire, self-made, like, yeah, they did it themselves. They might not have had funding behind them. That's what that means. But nobody's self-made. Everybody has a guide. Everybody has a mentor that they meet. And I just wish that I'd have reached out to somebody even sooner from the age of 13, 14, 15, as opposed to leaving it till my early 20s. Because guys, I'm 24 and I'm living out in Dubai. I've built a great physique. We're helping thousands of clients. I've got a big business. It's growing month by month. But I'd have had this at 20 if I'd have actually just reached out at 16. And if you're 26 now, like it doesn't just happen overnight, guys. You've got to reach out. You've got to get around these people. But until you actually do that, nothing's going to change. And the clock's always ticking, guys. You've got to remember that. So as soon as you can get in get in the room with someone virtually on social media that has actually done the things that you want to do the better right now the second thing you need to spend some money on travel right but not traveling with a fucking rucksack guys don't be that guy that chucks on a rucksack and goes i'm gonna live on 400 pound a month and travel that's just bullshit guys you're just using exposure again in the wrong way. You're putting yourself in the room with fucking more poor people, right? Whenever you're spending money, when, right? Just ask yourself a question, guys. When was the last time you spent money that actually made you better? Most people are just spending money on shit that does nothing to them. Like all of your money needs to be going into making you better. It needs to be going into courses, education, guides, mentors, coaches, whatever you want to call them, but then also travel, but not traveling where you go do it for six months and you live off 400 pound a month and get around more fucking idiots that don't know how to get where you want to go. Guys, just take the three day holiday, the five day holiday, even if it's one day and you just pay that 750,000 pounds to go somewhere luxury for one night. The exposure of doing that. Guys, once there is a law to the law of exposure. Once exposed, you can't become unexposed. So me guys, when I was on my way up and I was building my physique, I was on, guys, I was on like minimum wage. And at that time, there was two things I was spending money on. One was a coach building my physique my mindset getting in the room with someone that for my first goal was just had a better physique than me. But the second thing guys was I would spend money and once a month or once every two months, I would go and I would stay at the nicest hotel possible, whether it was 500 pound, 700 pound, a thousand pound a night, I would go do it. Now to me, that was an investment that went a waste. Because what did it do? It put me in the environment where it's the lifestyle I wanted. And it forced me to see it. It forced me to see the other people 
in that room and how they operate and how they dress and how they look and how they spend their money and what just all this stuff guys it puts you in the place and then it would fucking agitate me that they're living that life every day right and it weren't until i'd got a taste for the things you know i always say this guys like what did i do i went into the car showroom before i bought my m4 back in the uk when i lived at home why because once once you're exposed you can't be unexposed like you figure out how to make it happen okay so everything you do guys has to be around moving you to that end goal all of your time all of your energy all of your faith all of your money has to go towards moving you closer to that lifestyle investing in the people and investing in yourself and the experiences which are the lifestyle you want to live every fucking day guys yeah go go fucking hire the car go stay in the best hotel go do it because you will figure out how to get there once you've had that feeling of how it feels guys there is no going back do you really think i'm coming back to the uk guys after living in dubai a couple of years traveling first class everywhere it's not gonna happen guys the only way is up now my only mission is to be in a room with guys who are doing multi seven figure eight figure months my only mission is to go and stay at the places which are 5k a night not 1k a night like just keep pushing boundaries guys like you've got to push hard you've got to force yourself into something uncomfortable which might be unreasonable or hard at the time but then you will just become the person that makes it happen and everything's going to become possible guys like there's no going back once you've done it you know once you see how the people operate what their mindset's like what they're achieving once you've been to the places that you love you can't go back you know it's like when you come back from a good holiday guys it's fucking depressing you just got to keep operating how they operate guys all right that's the message you guys need to know today your money is going in two places it's going in the guides and the mentors who can help you get to the goal don't worry you're still going to be self-made you still did the work no like i don't do the fucking work for my clients but i lead them i guide them i show them the blueprint in order for our phase one clients how to elevate themselves to their best self their physique their mindset and phase two building their personal brands building their businesses their coaching businesses their sales teams whatever they're doing so then they can live their best life you know it's not all about money it's not all about fitness it's about all of it guys you need all of it all right see you soon have a good one get yourself in the room and get yourself in the places